Hi everyone, Pastor Roger Hendrickson at God's Will Community Church here in Yukon, Oklahoma. And I just want to jump on a little bit, talk a bit about the deliverance ministry. I want to share with you some things that I have learned, some things I have personally experienced, and even my testimony. I want to tell you that, uh, you know, the Lord has put on my heart to do this deliverance ministry. And as, as the Lord was telling me to do a message series on witchcraft, demons, impure spirits, and deliverance. And I didn't understand what all that was. Now, I used to teach on... I used to teach on spiritual warfare, how Satan fights us, that every day that we have a spiritual battle. I used to talk about these things and look at the scriptures about putting on the armor of God. But my eyes were never truly open to the fact that we are in a real spiritual, a spiritual realm battle of things. And my eyes have been open to that now. So the Lord began to speak to me with this message series that God had me do. As a matter of fact, when God had me start the series, I told the Lord, I don't know anything about witchcraft and a lot of these things that's in the title, deliverance. I always thought deliverance was, well, like addiction. When I got saved and born again, God took away my addiction to nicotine. Yes, that's deliverance, but that's the kind of deliverance I was thinking of. I had no idea what the Lord had in store. I didn't know what the Lord was about to reveal to me. So as the as the message series went on and God began to speak to me about starting a deliverance ministry, the Lord began to show me in scriptures about Jesus casting out demons. I didn't know anything about this, I, but I did learn real quickly through God's leadership that this is still true for today. I just did a podcast and I said to those on the podcast, I had to say to them, I was wrong. I was wrong. I have always taught that Christians cannot have impure spirits. I was wrong. And I had to tell people that I was incorrect. And I will always do that. If I teach on something and the Holy Spirit opens my eyes to something and reveals new things to me, I don't have a problem coming before people and saying, guys, I was wrong. Uh, God has opened my eyes to something new. God has shown me some new things. And that's exactly what I'm doing today, right now. I am telling you, I was wrong. Uh, I, am, I was wrong, and I will admit that I was wrong. Because what I have experienced for the last couple of months, that Christians can absolutely have an impure spirit. I've seen God in this church. I have seen God began to take spirits out of born-again Christians. I want to tell you from my own experience, my testimony. Today, I went through deliverance ministry myself. And God took out some things in my life that I didn't even know was there. Because if I'm going to do deliverance ministry, I felt like I needed to share the same experience as what I am doing with other people. So I wanted to go through that same experience. And then when I was willing to do that, God began to reveal some things to me in my own life. And so I called a friend of mine who is also in deliverance ministry, something that he just started doing not too long ago himself, I believe. I could be wrong with that, but I do believe it's also something that he's just starting to to do as well by the leadership of God longer than I have. So I reached out to him and we did that today. And I want to tell you that some things came out of my life today that I didn't, I didn't even know was in me. Guys, I've been born again and saved for over 10, 15 years. I've been preaching the gospel. And I'm telling you that today I went before God in deliverance and God took some spirits out of me that I, I didn't even know existed in me. I'm telling you right now, I am telling you that casting out demons and impure spirits and all these things, it is real that God wants to deliver you. He wants to deliver his people of things that Satan has kept them bound up in. I want to tell you that there was also a curse over myself, over my church, my ministry that was placed there that I had no idea about. Today, that curse has been broken in the almighty name of God, by the name of Jesus, the blood of Christ. It's been, it's been broken. 
God revealed some things in my life. He revealed some things happening in my ministry. I had no idea that was going on. But after today, I expect to see that God's going to start doing some new things in our church. So I just want to come on today and I want to encourage you that if you are experiencing things in your life as a born-again Christian and you just don't understand why you're going through these things, I want you to reach out to us because we could set up a meeting, a deliverance session for you. Even if you're not even in the Yukon, Oklahoma area, you might be out of state, but I want to tell you we can do it by video. We can set up a time to talk. We can do it. We can do a deliverance session with you. You know, one of the things that God used to get me to a point over the last month or so, I, be, I, I began to notice that in my mind, I, start, I started thinking and wondering to myself, you know, if born-again Christians really cannot have impure spirits inside of us, then why are there so many Christians walking around who are addicted? They're addicted to nicotine, ad addicted to alcohol, pornography. They're addicted to gambling. Addiction is real in Christians' lives. So I started asking myself, why, if, if, if born-again, spirit-filled people cannot be filled with an impure spirit, then why are so many Christians living a defeated, addicted life? I needed answers for that. Well, now I know. Because Christians can have an impure spirit inside of them, even though that they're born again and have salvation in Jesus Christ. I didn't know this. This is new to me. And I am coming before you today and I am telling you that I was wrong in my teaching. And I am telling you that today, that absolutely Christians can have impure spirits living inside of them that need to be taken out. Anxiety, depression. I'm not saying that every case of anxiety and depression is a demonic spirit. There are some times where people need to take medicine for mental health. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I'm also saying that a majority, there's a lot of cases. I just witnessed it. In the last couple of weeks, the last couple of months, I've witnessed God remove anxiety, depression, PTSD, these issues that keep us bound up. I've seen God remove it from people. I've seen people get off medication because of being healed of these things that, see, that Satan has placed in the Christian life. I'm not saying every case is like that, but I'm saying that it can happen and that Christians can be healed of these things. So today I'm just simply wanting to make a quick video just to say to you that if you feel like that you have some things in your life that need to be taken out and you're a born again Christian, Maybe you can't understand why it seems like you're always fighting something, that, that, you're, that you're cursed. You may have a curse on you that you don't even know about. I seen that firsthand just last week. I seen somebody cursed with witchcraft that had no idea that that spirit was placed on them. And they are a born-again Christian. They had witchcraft upon them. They didn't even know it. It was removed. They were delivered of it. Guys, I am seeing things through this ministry that I'd never even dreamed was real and true. And I praise God. I thank God that he's revealing this stuff to me, that he's showing these things to me. <laughs> because it has completely changed the way that I look at ministry. It has completely changed my personal view of demons in the ministry of Jesus Christ and what he has given us the authority to do in his name. So I'm speaking to you today. If this speaks to you in any way, if you feel like you have things in your life as a born again Christian that need to go, reach out to me, send me a message. You can contact me by email, godswillcc at gmail.com. You can email me. I will be in touch with you. We will connect. We will talk and we will set up a deliverance session for you. 
And I'm telling you that God will do some great and mighty things in your life. One of the scriptures that God gave me in today's podcast was Jeremiah 33, 3. It says, call unto me and I will answer thee. And I will show you some great and mighty things, things that you know nothing about. God did that to me and for me in the last couple of months. And today, as I personally, a pastor, a born-again Christian that has been preaching the gospel for many years, I myself just went before God today and asked God to deliver me of any impure spirits that might be hiding inside of me. And he did. And he also removed a curse that I had no idea that was there. And that curse was meant to hurt my ministry and the church that God told me to do several years ago. So I look forward to the future. I look forward to see what God will do now in this church and in this ministry. I look forward to the growth. And I look forward to seeing other people delivered because they come before God. So reach out to me. If this speaks to you in any way, reach out to me. Email me, message me, go on Facebook. Listen, you can go on God's Will Community Church Facebook. You can like and follow us there. My personal ministry page is Standing Firm with Pastor Roger Henriksen on Facebook, Instagram. You can like and follow us there. But I just want to say to you that Satan is fighting the Christians. He is going after our children today. He is going after our families. He is going after the Christian. And I'm telling you that you can be delivered of all these things in your life. You do not have to be bound to these things that we are told that we have to take medicine for and all this other stuff. God wants to remove it. God wants to heal you of it, and he will do it. He just did it for me, and he'll do it for you too. So reach out to me. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to seeing you on our uh, Facebook page, following us and listening to our sermons and everything else that we do on Facebook, uh, social media, Instagram. I look forward to seeing you guys on that as well. So guys, you all have a great day. Uh, pray about it. Reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you and see what God will do in your life as well. God bless.